uh, my name is Robert Hurd, I'm Reno Hussain. I'm working with Enterprise Ireland's Lean Team. We have a lean business offer where we're supporting small and medium enterprises in Ireland uh, with uh, introducing lean into their organisations. And today I'm going to briefly talk about a little bit about the Enterprise Ireland's lean offer and then also more particularly looking at uh, application to the, to the food sector uh, and what's happening there. Very quickly, an introduction to Lean. Some of you may be familiar or not with it. Um, essentially, we feel that it's about doing things quicker, better, cheaper together. It's about how much time it takes you to make a product, how much money it takes to make that product, and how much effort it takes you as people, as a company and resources to make that product. And what we're looking at in the Lean journey is to find out what, how, and why you're doing something. We need to capture facts. The lean is based on data and scientific approach. Some of it has been mentioned earlier on today. But ultimately it's about people. Who's going to make it better and when is it going to happen? So accountability, which was touched on earlier on as well. Within Enterprise Ireland as well, like you know, we do believe that it does apply to all business sectors um, across the country, also within an organisation. So any activity within an organisation can apply lean. And it applies not just to manufacturing, which is the traditional idea, but also to a, a range of industrial sectors. Very quickly, I'll run through some of the quick ideas around lean, and we touched on already. Uh, Toyota have their house of quality. The idea is that you have a foundation, a stability in your organization built on organization, standardization, uh, visual management, and problem solving. You're looking to achieve right first time, good quality. You're looking to achieve just in time, delivering to the customer what they want, when they want. And it's about listening to your customer and providing what they need. But ultimately, again, as pointed out, uh, it's about people. It's about engaging them, it's about empowering them, it's about developing teamwork. So some of the earlier talkers have talked, on, have talked about this. We are looking at culture and change in your organization through people and getting more out of your people and engaging and making them uh, more motivated. And in ways, this is summarized by the, uh, the Toyota way, which looks at continuous improvement in your organization through challenging people, a culture of no fear, no blame, Kaizen, small improvements, and go look, see. Your Gemba walks, go into the place where value is added. And respect for people. So respect and teamwork, a culture of no fear, no blame. So within Enterprise Ireland, we provide our small and medium enterprises uh, with supports on a, a, variety of, um, uh, a variety of different types of supports to help their businesses, including uh, helping them with their productivity and their competitiveness. So if you go into the Enterprise Ireland website and go to productivity, you'll come in here and we have three different offers within the productivity. We have the green offer, which is looking to improve your, your uh, environmental performance. We have the company health check or benchmarking, which can uh, assess what your strengths and weaknesses are in an organization and, and where you compare it to other organizations. And also the lean business offer. And within the lean business offer, we have three different types of offer. Uh, a lean start, a lean plus, and a lean transform. These are different levels of engagement depending on the capability of the organization or where they're at on their lean journey. We also have a number of resources that we provide to companies uh, and virus center website a booklet on how becoming lean, and lean is also part of the NSAIs, they have a swift guideline on becoming, um, driving competitors using lean. And just a quick overview of the offers that we have that are available to uh, Enterprise Ireland clients. IDA clients and LEO clients are also availing of this uh, lean offer as well. Uh, a lean start is a short term introduction to lean and a quick, quick win project that we hope to be rolled out in the, in, in the organisation generally around two to three months. A Lean Plus is a medium um, scale business improvement where you're looking to roll out to more of the organization and, and uh, uh, instill in the um, organization Lean capabilities through a Lean Champion. And then a lean, a lean Transform, which is like a two to three a year engagement for a company that's looking at cultural transformational change in the organization. In 2015, the Department of Jobs, Enterprise and um, Innovation carried out an independent uh, survey of the Lean business offer and it found that Lean works. Uh, Those 397 Lean starts reporting an average saving of 55,000 for the Lean start at a cost of just 6,300. Uh, 
162 pluses showed an average savings of over 150,000 and significant savings for the companies that uh, did the lean transform. When they looked at companies that carried out lean versus companies that didn't carry out lean, you saw a 11% increase in employment, you saw a 20% uh, increase in productivity, sales were increased by 40%, product and service quality 30%, uh, delivery adherence 43%. For an investment by the company in Enterprise Ireland, of over 60 million, there was a productivity gains of over 660 million. So tenfold return on the investment by the company in Enterprise Ireland. So lean works. It's been shown in other places and it's been shown here as well. So when we look at the lean business offer in Enterprise Ireland, we have had over 850 projects carried out across some 650 companies. And as mentioned earlier on, it's across a variety of different industri industrial sectors. The primary ones that have uh, done the lean project so far are the industrial, the life sciences and consumer. But you can see also that the food sector have heavily engaged with the lean process. Over 202 lean um, projects within the, the food sector. Of that 202 companies, uh, you get a variety of different food, uh, food sector industry types. You're looking at consumer foods, poultry, seafood and horticulture on the left, doing most of the projects. You have... Um, uh, Functional foods, beverages and dairy, uh, the second highest with 53 projects. And you look at meat and FDI's uh, cereal, close to about 47. So again, it's across a different a range of different types of companies within the food sector, uh, both in their activity, but also in the, their, their size. Location varies as well across the country. So primarily it's on the east coast with Leinster and uh, Dublin. 49 in Munster, and uh, just I'm afraid 20 in uh, Ulster border regions and 15 in the Connacht regions. So again, maybe reflecting where our food companies are based and whatever, but it is across the country. And if you think you know of any companies, or you are a company that's looking to kind of like improve your productivity efficiencies, uh, worth considering getting in touch with Enterprise Ireland. And within that 202 uh, projects with the food sector, we've had 94 starts, 51 pluses, Quite a large amount of the, um, the transforms as well, 44. Uh, so all different levels of the capability of a company like, you know, engaging uh, with the lean journey. And what we've seen across all of these 202 projects, the lean start is where you spend 6,300 on your, you know, your project. Enterprise Ireland supports that by 50%. And for that in, um, uh, investment of 6,300, we've seen average savings for the food companies of over 95,000 ranging from 4,000 up to 155,000. So substantial gains to be achieved out of this uh, investment in your lean journey. When we go on to the lean plus, you're looking at a, an investment of up to 70,000, but again, Enterprise Ireland supporting that up to 50%. We've seen average savings of over 200,000, uh, ranging up to over half a million in savings for that 70,000 investment. And for the transforms, we're seeing significant ones. And one of the big things that we're looking for is not only so the immediate things, but what people were talking about earlier on, you're looking for a cultural change in your organization. You're looking for a culture of problem solving, of engagement of your people, and of continuous improvement. So these are sustainable gains with your organization to be able to have even further, further benefits to the company. Um, another resource that we have within Enterprise Ireland is that we provide case studies for some of the, uh, the lean projects that have been carried out. So if you go onto our website, you will see um, lean and green case studies. Uh, and we provide them in this form as well for you. Just a quick summary of the lean projects. So I'm just going to quickly look at two that have been carried out. Ashburn Meat Processors, they carried out a lean start. They had problems with a process line, uh, looking to introduce uh, lean. Um, Line productivity improvements of 16%. Overall equipment effectiveness uh, was mentioned earlier on the previous speaker of 10%. All these small changes result in um, increases in productivity and increase in profitability for the, the organizations. Glenpatrick um, Water Company. They were introducing a new line in their operations and they were looking to uh, maximize the efficiency in the working of that, uh, that line. Uh, through the lean transform that they carried out, uh, they introduced such lean tools and techniques as standard, standard work, A3 problem solving in their organization, uh, cockpit meetings. Again, these help to engage your, uh, your, your companies or your, your employees and to motivate them uh, to create problem solvers. Um, 
So they saw baby hair changes. And within the Cronus line, they saw an increase of 27% uh, in the efficiency of the line, going from an OEE of 60% up to 76%. Yield loss was reduced from 2.5% to 1.4%, resulting in a saving of like three quarters of a million. So again, what you're looking for in the, the lean culture and the, the lean journey is to make small improvements across a range of things like, you know, will improve your productivity, your efficiencies, reduce your waste, and end up with uh, uh, increased profits for your organization. Part of the behavioral thing as well in the sustainable culture is that they're looking now to just go on, not satisfied with where they are, to improve, continue, and to increase their OEE to world class of 85%. Uh, so you've never achieve perfection, they're striving for perfection and improve all the time. Another quick aspect I'd like to just touch on as well is that like lean isn't just about like you know say the production floor, it's about all the activities in the business as I mentioned, but it's also about like you know your suppliers and your customers, everybody engaging with the lean journey as well. So for some of the kind of food companies, it is looking to uh, work with their suppliers in a lean manner to ensure quality and supply of, uh, of their goods. And they're looking to introduce lean onto the farm. So it's an interesting new kind of a development, like, you know, how can we introduce lean onto the farm? Can we introduce the ideas of flow, of value, of listening to the customer, of the pursuit for perfection? And all the tools, uh, there's a speaker there a week ago uh, from Don Meese to describe lean as a systemized common sense. And it applies anywhere. It applies at home, it applies at work, it can apply to a farm. There's simple tools that can be used. So can we introduce simple tools like just mapping the processes around a farm, standardizing how you do things. If you standardize something, you can improve something. Root cause analysis so that you're again, you're kind of like, you know, getting to the problem, not, they're not repeated. Uh, leader standard work, visual control, operation plan. So again, there's potential within the farm, the suppliers, to a lot of the food sectors to improve their product and ensure good, good supply. Um, so, if anybody has any questions uh, or would like to contact Enterprise Ireland, myself and some colleagues are here uh, and we're available any time to kind of feed some questions and uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.